Another five-minute mystery. against the light with traffic so heavy. Sorry, officer, I can see it. Holy smoke, what was that? Officer, a woman's going out that window. Good heavens, she'll be killed. Okay, okay, back up here and let me through. Hey, Clancy, better call an ambulance. I'm going up to that hotel window to do a little investigating. You say your wife Rita jumped from this window, Graham. That's right, officer. Miss Carlton here and I tried to stop her, but we weren't able. Rita and I were old friends, officer. My wife had been in ill health for some time. She had a nervous breakdown, and it seemed to make her afraid of everything. She feared elevators, high buildings, everything. I invited Miss Carlton for dinner this evening, thought that perhaps she could cheer Rita up a little and help bring her back to normalcy. But she changed so much. How's that? Well, instead of being cheered, she imagined that I was coming between her and Mr. Graham. Even accused me of it directly. Then, tonight, with a startling suddenness, she stood up angrily and pushed over the coffee table, saying she knew we thought her crazy. Then she ran to that window, climbed up on the sill, and, and jumped. Hmm. This window's pretty small. And these newly made scratches on the windowsill, they're hunks of wood torn out by your wife's fingernails. Here on the outer edge of the sill. Uh, she, she must have made a, a grasp for the sill after she jumped. Miss Carlton and I both finally attempted to grab her, but we got to the window just as she fell forward, head first off the ledge. Head first, eh? That's right, officer. She climbed up here on the sill. Then just as Miss Carlton and I made a grab for her, she leaned forward and fell. Oh, it was terrible. If only Graham and I would gotten there a fraction of a second sooner. Maybe if I hadn't been here, this wouldn't have happened. Very true, Miss Carlton, and perhaps neither would I have to perform my little duty. Your duty, officer? Meaning, Miss Carlton, I arrest you and Mr. Graham for the murder of Rita Graham. In just a moment, we'll see whether you too detected the flaw in Graham's and Miss Carlton's stories. But first... Mr. Graham, you said your wife was afraid of everything, yet she didn't fear leaping from a 15th floor window. However, that isn't the biggest mistake you two made. Surely when you were struggling to push Ms. Graham out of the window, you should have noticed where, in her futile efforts to stop you, her fingernails had torn out pieces from the outer edge of the sill. No person having jumped headfirst out of a 15th floor window would have time or the ability to turn in midair and frantically grasp the sill. Your alibi missed the mark that time. 